Five people coming? Yes. Did we make oh, him a number? They're pulling my leg in the kitchen. No, Adeshan. Adeshan, wait a minute. Come here. We have a group coming, but I don't know how many people, but I do think you did fall for that. I don't think it's 25. I think it's maybe five. Five. But we're going to keep the doors open. <laughs> group of five coming. <laughs> what a. You tell them to eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> you go in the kitchen, you get help from them. I did it for you, Dad. <laughs> Listen, Adeshan, 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 Yes, it'll be fun. I got you. I got this. No, I don't want to take an even chance. Just drive me a fi drop me a 50 and I'll take the fall. Let's fall down. You need oh, yeah, another beer? Yeah, you need and they'll play like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <he's> hey! <laughs> I came to this country not to speak a word of English. Good morning and goodbye, that's all I knew. But it was not the end of the life. I had no choice. I had nobody. In the airport, my father wrote a piece of paper, if this guy make it to New York City, Kennedy Airport, please take him, he don't speak English, take him to the gate number 14. He got to fly to San Jose, California. So, who you ask? in the airport. You don't ask anybody where the gates. So I saw a pilot, airplane pilot. I said, they know where the gate is because they do it every day. I asked him and he said over there, he does not speak English. The pilot answered me, don't, 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 don't. I go, I guess it's that way because he's pointed that way. I didn't understand the word he said. And when I work here in the restaurant, I could never, when I moved, I looked for the best restaurant in that town. Where am I? In the kitchen watching dishes. Where is the chef? In the kitchen cooking. And I'm going, oh, he put salt. He put pepper on the steak, garlic powder. Every restaurant, I learned what the best is have than that restaurant. How are we doing on table 107? I mean, table 7. Give me a little time. No, we have a one time. I know. It's going to be a while. Oh, another 40 minutes, I'll wait. I'm like, seriously, Patty. Then when I get mad, I'm like, can you just. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's calling me. Maybe in the pub. I don't could know be why. Some good looking girl sitting over there. You can't afford her. <laughs> <laughs> My mother is way too much high maintenance. Well, I know. I'll get rid of your mother. She gave then. you just enough money. <laughs> I can't that. afford it. I mean, and then he got rid of his house, his cars, his everything. I've seen that. I've seen it. It's not gonna be pretty. But I love you. Do I'm not here. ever work with your family at the same business. <laughs> It just started a lot of girls in America married a foreign student to help him to get the green card and then they divorced, but they charged a foreign student like $5,000, $4,000. So immigration got the hang of it. He said, wait a minute, this is not right. But I proved to immigration, no, I'm married for a love. Of course, that was against my father's wish. He did not want me to get married American girl. He wants me to marry Iranian girl. He even offered me money 
because I married without his permission. And he told me, do not ever come back to my house. I only owe two sons, not three. You out of my will. This is attitude adjustment. <laughs> Go. Two months later, I joined the American Air Force. I thought I'd be an officer, but I was not a citizen. But I had a green card, so I can be enlisted. Then I stationed in Dias Air Force Base. That's why I come down here. They called me on my radio. They said, Sergeant Ali, you got an emergency phone call in the office. Get back to the office as soon as possible. So I'm on my way. I got to my van, drove back to office, went, opened the phone, pick up the phone. It was my father. I haven't talked to the man for two years. I said, Dad? Okay, what I did wrong this time? You're gonna cuss me and you're gonna disown me. What I did wrong this time? You called me. You haven't talked to me for two years. What the hell do you want? He goes, I am in the hospital. I said, oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. Are you sick? What's wrong, Dad? He said, no. I want to be the first one to congratulate you. I'm with your wife. He's a little boy. And I thought, how the hell do you know my wife was in cancer? He said, I'm a father. <laughs> I know everything. I go, damn. I want you to know. You're most welcome, you and your wife come back to my house and make sure bring my grandson. I said, you got it, Dad. Oh, wait, he owns a flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking out because I got to go in the kitchen and start cut some filet because we don't I have I don't know, why don't you come back here and cut a rug because they're jamming out. I, 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 I got to go cut some more steak. Oh, I thought he had 14 ounce plates. I have 14 ounce plates, but I don't have 10 ounce filet no more. Sell him around town the place? Hey, it doesn't sound good. You're out. I mean, it's not their problem, we're out. It's my problem. Well, we'll see. Wait, if it's five people, why am I saying that this is I, I, I'm not kidding. I, I'll punch you. Wait, if it's five people? <laughs> it's five people? Yeah. I don't know. Gabby, I'm going to swear. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god, it's 25. Ali. Is it really? Boss stop. Stop. No, it's not. Boss stop. You're a liar, Ali. Ali, you stop. can't even see a liar. Oh, you can't even see what that is. for a few minutes, I left. The boss left. Is it because you looked outside? <laughs> no, man, they saw, it's cold They saw outside. your head. <laughs> they saw your head, that's why. See? You, you leave my head alone, please. Thank you very much, because you're messing up my hair. <laughs> Every time you talk, hey, 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 hey. I got some hair. Don't worry, I can chill that back for you. I'll leave you on. Are you going to cut boys or not? <laughs> when I worked for Oil Company, the owner was from Albany. He always had an investor come in. And he go, he came in, I cook him a rack of lamb. They eat. And they were leaving. I walked to the Cadillac, opened the door for his wife to get in, opened the door for him to get in. I said, well, sir, how was your meal tonight? He goes, Ali, that was the best, tenderest, tastiest beef I ever eat. I said, it wasn't beef, sir. It was lamb. And his wife goes, oh, my God, we hate lamb. I said, ma'am, when I pick up your plate, you had nothing left on it. And he goes... See you Monday morning in the bank. I give you twelve thousand. That's how we started. Yeah, thirty-eight years I've been running this restaurant. The city I grew up was by the Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea is a lake north of Iran. My father was very close to the Shah of Iran because of the border between Iran and Russia. And Shah owned all the hotel in Iran by Caspian Sea. 
So he built a tea plant on the runway to the hotel. My father's cousin was working in the tea farm. Shaw came to visit the tea farm one day and saw her. Asked my father, who is she? Well, sir, that's my cousin. What's she doing in the tea farm? So, well, she is going to university, sir. She's paying for her school. Tell her, stop her, I pay. Next thing you know, they fall in love and they got married. Because of her, we come very close to the royal family. And when Shaw was going down, Ayatollah was coming back, Shaw decided, told my father, he said, get your family out one by one, not all together. I had a good connection with the Shaw's son. Uh, he keep on me to go back with him, build the army or go start a revolution against the Ayatollah. I said, man, you're crazy, man. I ain't going back nowhere. There ain't no chance for us to get anywhere. And I'm not the killer. I can't kill. Everything is good. Awesome. It was a pleasure serving you. Pleasure. It was Thank pleasure. You. God yeah. bless you, sir. Yeah. Oh, God bless you. Oh, Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, listen. Turn around. <laughs> it's been a rough day and a week for me it's too, been Dad. It's a long day, baby. It's been a long day. We have one more table. Okay, one more table. One more five people. I okay, got or it. 25. No, man. Whoa. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I don't have that many baked potato. I look at it this morning when I was trimming my beard. I had nearly 11 heads. <laughs> I'm not kidding, you're standing up and I'm going, what the hell is that? Life is good, folks. Thank you all so very much. Yes, sir. I'm sorry I give you all a headache. I got some aspirin if you need it. <laughs> or Advil. Yeah, no, it's all great. God bless you. God Thank bless you. Sir. God bless you. Thank, Thank you all. <laughs> right. It was worth coming just to talk to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> 10 o'clock. Close it. Yeah. We're done. Lock the door. Lock them out. Lock the door. Shut up. Hurry up. Oh, man. Hurry up. They're coming. Police, stop playing. He's lying. He's lying. They're all taking a shower. <laughs> no, it's time to play the liar. Yeah, what, no, 10 o'clock. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> hey, I gotta write you a paycheck, so. Yeah, well, write me one for Don't a thousand dollars. About it. <gasps> My brother asked me, when are you gonna retire? I said, the day I fall in the kitchen floor. <laughs> face down, and uh, that's my retirement. <laughs>